Hello and welcome to Let's Play Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. Yes, it is about time we moved on to the sequel to The Secret of Monkey Island, which we Let's Played a couple of months ago and I really, really enjoyed it. I do love myself a point and click. It was funny, it had good puzzles, very, very good characters, and so why not do the sequel? I always said I would. Um, we are of course playing the special edition once again like we did with the first game which has revamped graphics and uh, voice acting and other such things so that should be nice this came out in 2010 I think it was but of course the original came out in 1991 before I was even born blimey uh, published and well developed and published by LucasArts so we're in safe hands we're in safe hands with this. It's going to be a good point and click. Um, now I think there is some things that are slightly different with this special edition, as in, well, I read that you can use a controller to to control Guybrush kind of with an actual thumbstick. So I have got my controller plugged in, but I don't know how that works because it's a point and click. So how can you point and click with a Unless you have a cursor, maybe you can... I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I I thought I'd plug it in just in case, but... um, Yeah, I, I, we'll probably just stick to using the mouse and the keyboard, I would have thought. So, I don't know if the game will give you a, a little brief sort of flashback to how the last game ended, but uh, if you can't remember, I, I can only just remember. So, we defeated the evil ghost LeChuck and saved Governor Marley. Uh, we may have left our crew stranded on a ship, I remember that. Um, so, <laughs> I hope that gets addressed. But yeah, we, we did. We won the day. There were beautiful fireworks and we were with Marley. So, uh, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But let's just play the game and find out. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood. You do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh... Do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Ooh, part one. The Largo Embargo. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we're, we're playing already, I guess. Wow, that was quick. I, I thought there'd be a bit more. Um, But yeah, just looking at this game, I have played it for a little bit before, just to get used to the controls, which have changed a lot. I'll say that. But before I get into the controls, this game just looks really, really different to the first um, the first game in the special edition. I don't know, it just seems so much more smooth, the animation, and it almost kind of looks 3D in a way, like when, when Guybrush is moving, moving a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks really nice, really, really nice. Uh, of course, 
as with the previous game, you can switch between the uh, current and the old style it looked like before, back in 1991. There you go. You can do that anytime you want. And, you know, still got the old sort of inventory system and things like that. So look at what we got. Holy crap. Hang on. Let's go back to this one. So the controls have changed a lot. Now, I said about, you know, being able to use a controller. You can. You can use a, a controller... Uh, with thumb, uh, yeah, a thumbstick to move Guybrush around the screen, because this was on Xbox 360 and you know and PlayStation, so you'd need to use those sort of controls. However, things just like selecting has changed as well. So if we take, for example, this sign right here, what you do is you hold right click and you get this little sort of wheel of options, and then you can pick which one you want. It's a really nice, smooth way of doing it, and I wasn't expecting it to be so different. But you can look at the sign. Pick up the sign, so let go. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. No treasure hunting, okay. And then you right click again, and we go to pick up instead. Oops, I think I broke the sign. And, oh, we got a shovel from that. Very, very nice. Um, and if we press, what is it, middle mouse scroll wheel, that brings up, oh my goodness me, that brings up our inventory. Riches, 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 and... Riches, more bonds. I intend to. I intend to. I intend to. Uh, oh, whoops. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. <laughs> when he was saying I intend to, that's because if you right click, I intend to. You know, you're trying to use the item, and if you left click, you look. I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. Hmm, you're telling me. I should be set for the whole trip with this. This should be plenty of money to charter a ship. Right, so we need to, we need to find a ship. Look at all this. He really likes this. I've got enough to buy my own ship in five different currencies. How did he get this? I guess... I guess the Chuck had it? I don't know how long this is set after the first game, to be honest. Uh, so if we close that. And there are a few more things that have changed. Obviously, we still have the hint system. If you press H, you get hint up. Um, oh, whoops, I didn't do that. Um, but there's a new thing, which I'm not too sure about. And it's if you hold left click and right click at the same time. Yeah, let me get out of the way first. You see that? You see how the sign is glowing? It's a new sort of way to show you what objects you can interact with. So on the screen, whenever you do that, left click and right click, it shows you anything and everything that you can use or look at or, you know, pick up or open or whatever. Which I'm I'm not too sure how to feel about that because part of point and click games is that you just you go around the whole screen doing like pixel hunting? Like, is that is that sort of click about that? And okay, it maybe is annoying, but it's part of the game, I think. So I don't know. I'm not sure how to feel about that, but we use it anyway, I guess. The game wants us to, so we use it. But yeah, that's basically it for the controls. Uh, really nice and smooth, I think. Really nice way that they've changed it. One more thing. One more thing. If you noticed, up in this corner it said press A for commentary. This game also has something I've always wanted in more games to do, and that is actually give you insight into how they made the game, why they did what they did, you know, like develop a sort of a, yeah, develop a commentaries. And this game actually has it. If you press A... Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse, right? Yes. This is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We have like two like full-time programmers who are doing. I mean, I'm, I'm not obviously going to play the whole thing because that would just take away from the story. But you actually have in-game commentary about, you know, how they developed it, which I think is great. I love that sort of stuff. So I will definitely be listening to those, um, probably afterwards. To be honest, you could listen as you play, but that's not going to work right for the let's play. Anyway. Enough enough babbling. Let's actually move on and cross this damn bridge and get to... What was this place called again? I forgot Welcome already. to Woodtick. Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Let's go to Woodtick. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Oh, crap. Three steps and we're already in trouble. Uh, is this some sort of bribe? Take my money? No, I'm not gonna do that. We're a we're guy brush three put damn it. Who's gonna make me? I don't pay for nothing. That's more like it. I'm a pirate. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? Oh no. Help! Please! 
Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. What is this guy doing? He looks a bit like one of those Muppets. I can't remember what their name is now. The two old men that always moan. He looks like one of them. Oh, he also looks a bit like the guy from Up, the old man. Anyway, all I know is he's that this is not good. Um, <laughs> who kisses up the law? Who eats the donuts? Uh, not my new coat. Put me down and I won't have to hurt you. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you. <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe I won't kill you right now. Oh. Hey, you're loaded. No. This is my lucky night. No, 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 no. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand. Lago Legrand. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Hang on. You know what that means? <laughs> oh, it's all gone. We had it for a few minutes and it's gone. Now we've got this rubbish old shovel. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. Oh, great. Great. Well, I guess we better move on then. We could could we follow him maybe? No, let, let's let's go into the, the... I keep forgetting what this place is called now. Woodwick. See what's here first. Ooh, and actually... Oh, that water doesn't look very nice, does it? Very green. Looks actually, it looks actually worse on this version anyway. Oh, look at those reflections. Lovely. All right, I guess we should start exploring this place and talking to the locals. Uh, not that guy, though. He I don't like him. Largo. The Largo Embargo. Right, where, where's this? Who's near? Woodsmith. Hello, Mr. Woodsmith. Oh, look at this. Look, so yeah, look. You can push Woodsmith. Uh, pull him, use him, Ooh. Uh, look at him and talk to him. What happens if I try and push him? I don't think he'd like that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so let's just... I don't think he'd like no, that. No, no, not that either. Let's talk to him. How about that? <clears throat> yeah. Hello. Uh, what's the problem with that Largo guy? Yeah, that's a damn right. What is, what is wrong with that guy? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Oh, voodoo. We never really had... In the previous game, we did speak to Jiggly-boobed voodoo lady. I remember her. Maybe we're going to get more into voodoo. That I like that. Um, that... that do I need to make a thing? Do I need to help him make a, a little doll? I'd be up for that. Stick a few pins in there. Uh, nice apron. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, that's it. We're in it. Yeah, okay. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Oh, God. <laughs> it gets more stupid. But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? <laughs> Let's keep going, why not? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess we need to end. I'd just like to browse, thanks. Uh, we might as well ask him this. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I happen to really like our coat. Look at this thing with the little fancy details on there. Very, very nice. Okay, so a little look around. I really like this sort of focus I've got going on here. It actually adds a really nice bit of depth. Oh, this bit's blurry. Very, very nice. Okay, what we got here? See, this is what I mean, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do left click, right click. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, don't look at the. Oh, <laughs> I did that wrong. That's actually a pretty tricky thing to do. Left click, right click. There. There you are. Everything. Everything. Just like that. Which, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> chair. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. Oh. Well, I don't want to buy it anyway, thanks. Use it. Hey, don't touch that. Oh. It's not for sale. Stool. 
got a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. One second, actually, I've just realised that I think... <laughs> I don't like to do this stuff in the game, but I've just realised that I think... The sound effects are a little bit too loud compared to the dialogue. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Like his, his soaring and hammering is very loud. Uh, let's resume the game. Okay. So we, this this guy seems like a bit of a grump, to be honest. Hammer. It says Woody. That's me. Use it. Pick it up. Get your hands away from there. Mm. It's not a toy. Nails. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Oh, this guy. What a, what a downer he is. Come on, cheer up, mate. Oh no, you don't. No one touches her but me. Who is she? I meant to say. I meant to say. Look. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Okay, buy me. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. <laughs> Let's move all around. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Oh. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Is that it then? Are you just gonna moan at me? Peg leg. Uh, look at that. Nice peg leg. Thanks. I made it myself. Well, really? Get away from there. Ugh. Can we look at anything? Oh, no, you don't. I don't think we can, you know? Uh, you got anything else to say then? <clears throat> yeah. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Oh. No, okay, that's it then. Well, I mean, yeah. We. Oh, hang on. No, that wasn't it. So, we've looked at everything, I guess. <laughs> kind of odd that, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let's go. Fine, fair enough. See you later. We might need to see you again to make a doll or something. Uh, what's this? Can we look at these? Oh, we sure can. Look at sign. What does that even say? I can't even make that out. It's got a cocktail on there. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Oh. Bleh. Bloody Lip. Oh no. Help Wanted. Help Wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Oh. Oh, should we go down there? It seems a bit sudden just to go and take someone's job. Although we are now poor. We have nothing except for a shovel to our name. Um, should we go down there? Let's have a look down there. Ew. What's <laughs> Hello, I don't want to take your job, but what do you say? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Uh, yeah, how is business? It is, seems very quiet down here. How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo <gasps> Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. <laughs> Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Oh my god, what a guy. He's so short, why don't you just... This guy seems like he's massive. Do we have to inspect his sp oh god spit dripping down wall? I don't really want to pick it up, but oh use it. Oh no, this is getting worse. Let's look at it. Largo's been here. What is he gonna say if we do this? I don't want to touch it with my hands. Oh, which makes me think we do have to touch it. That's sick. It is. Um, advertisement. What's that? It reads Jojo appearing nightly. No cover charge. Oh, Jojo. Could be me. Metronome. It's a metronome. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Does that mean I shouldn't do this? I should have listened to my mother. Okay. <laughs> I should have practiced. They're not even going to put us through that. Uh, what's in here? Hey! Hired help only! 
Does that mean we need to go in there? Do, do we need to take his job just to go in there? What else do you have to say? Stop spitting for a moment. And, and talk me. to me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. I've got no money. I don't think that's going to be a very good sign. Want to see my scar? Ooh. Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, let's ask him about the job, and I guess that's something we've got to do. I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning, but if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Oh, okay. Is that job available yet? <laughs> Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Okay, so we might need to come back here later on. Let's just ask for a little bit of grog. Go on. Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Uh, ooh, well. Oh, no. This is uh, bringing back bad memories of uh, not having any ID. Um, I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No Damn. ID, no service. Who is that Kate? Excuse me. Yeah, I, I want to know. Yeah, boy? Boy? Who's this Kate person? Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out. Does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Well, that sounds pretty good. We need a ship, don't we? Hmm, we might need to see Kate. Also, F1. Oh, this seems even dingier, doesn't it? Oh, no. Oh, oh I like the, uh, the sea creatures in the background. Okay, then. I think that's probably about it. I'm going to be off. Mario. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Uh, one last thing, one last... I suppose it's good to do a double check. Uh, oh, we didn't actually look at that stuff, did we? Look at that. Nice. Okay, that's it. So yeah, that is all we can really do. Ah, oh, it might come in quite useful, actually. I, I, I might warm to it, that, uh, that mechanic. Right. Well, I suppose there's a sort of lead there, kind of. I really wish that wouldn't come up every single time, though. Uh, a for commentary thing. Oh well. Anyway, I think we're going to end off the first part here. We've got this lovely woodwick. I keep forgetting what it's called already. Uh, to uh, this lovely place to explore, full of some. Well, he seemed like a nice, nice guy. That guy not so much. And that Largo Legrand. Oh, don't like him. We have to get that voodoo doll in action. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.